Hi ladies, today I'm going to do a review of the Multi Luna and the Spectra S1 breast pump. I wanted to talk about um, my experience with breastfeeding. I had my first son seven years ago and my breastfeeding journey did not go as planned. I was using the Medela Pump and Style Advance. It's a great pump. Don't get me wrong. I have good things to say about it. Um, I wanted to try some different pumps that were on the market this go around. So that's the only reason why I did not get another Medela Pump. Um, but essentially my breastfeeding journey the first time did not go as planned because I didn't put enough effort into it. And it, it just, it's breastfeeding is a major commitment and my mind just wasn't there the first time. So I ended up doing a combination of breast milk and formula for my son. He's healthy, he's huge. So, you know, he's seven, he's running wild and driving me crazy, but that's what they do. He's a very healthy boy. Um, so this time with my second son, I ended up having another boy. I wanted to, uh, pr I promised myself that this will be different. I will put more effort. I will make sure that breastfeeding was a commitment. I have a one year breastfeeding goal. I would love to go beyond that, but I definitely want to at least make it to a year. My first goal is six months and then a year. Um, so let's just, let's get into it. So I have four pumps total. I have a Medela Harmony, which is a manual handheld pump. And I use it for emergencies. I keep it in the diaper bag just in case I'm out and I can't um, express any milk with, I don't have my um, electric pumps and I need to express, express milk quickly to avoid engorgement. I keep that one with me in the diaper bag. I also have two hakas um, that I also keep in the diaper bag just so um, I can hook one up to my left boob and nurse on my right or just in case of emergencies um, and I need to get some milk out whether my child is with me or not. And I have these two that are in front of you, the Multi Luna and the Spectra S1. So we'll talk about some of the similarities between the two um, and the differences. The Spectra S1 is available on Amazon through insurance, it's at Target. Um, those are the main retailers that I'm aware of that you can get the Spectra S1. They Spectra offers an S1 and an S2. This one that is featured here is the S1. It is a portable, um, and we'll talk about that a little later, but they have the S2, which is the same pump essentially, but you have to keep it plugged up in order for it to work. The Spectra S1 on Amazon is rated at a 4.5 and it retails for $199. I got mine from insurance and I paid $50 extra, roughly $50 extra because it was an upgrade option through my insurance. Um, you'll have to check with your insurance to find out what your eligibility is and what pricing they can offer you if it's free, if it's not. Um, but, you know, these pumps, both of these pumps are available through most insurance insurance plans. The Motif Luna is on Amazon and it is rated at 4.1 and it is $189.99. I got the Motif Luna from insurance completely free and they also sent me a breast pump bag um, with it and I paid nothing. So let's talk about the similarities. The similarities um, are in the materials with both pumps. You get a set of tubing, you get a 22, 24s and two 28 millimeter flanges, you get a set of silicone duckbill valves, you get the backflow protectors or diaphragms, which is three pieces total, and that's to keep the milk from going into your tubing. You get two 160 milliliter bottles, which is essentially a little over five ounces, and the bottles come with the caps, the nipples, the disc, the lids, um, the whole set to kind of collect the milk and also to feed it to your baby if you need to feed directly from the collection container. And you get a wall charger, the power AC power adapter, which I call the wall charger, that comes with both pumps. Both pumps are hospital grade. They are they can be used in double or single feature pumps. They are both closed systems, which means that milk does not go into the pump, which is sanitary for you. They both have a 30 minute shutoff timer. Uh, they both have night lights. Um, there's a little difference between the two in the nightlight feature. They both have LCD screens. There's little differences in that as well we'll talk about. They're both generally quiet pumps. They're lightweight and they offer adjustable settings. We'll talk about um, 
some of the different settings in a minute. So let's start with the Motif Luna. I got this pump about three days ago and I really like it. I have not had as much experience with it as the Spectra, but I'm thoroughly impressed so far. It was free with my insurance again and I got a breast pump bag with it as well. It is not portable. That's one of the things I do not like about the Motif Luna. You have to plug it into the wall and your mobility is decreased because you have to stay connected to the wall. You have to keep it plugged up and that's not really something that's gonna work for me when I go back to work. So um, that's the downside of the Motif Luna. I'm not sure if they're just not interested in offering a portable or if they just have they just didn't put that on the market as an introductory pump. This pump is still fairly new. Um, I can't find anything beyond 2019 on this pump. So it's, it's still fairly new. Maybe they will offer a portable option in the future. But that is one of the things I really don't like about this pump. Um, but it's, you know, it's not portable. It does have a backlit screen. So when you turn it on, you can see what is on the screen, whether you're in the dark or in the light. And I really like that about this pump. Um, Turn off. So the well, well, we'll get to the spectrum in a minute. The max massage um, feature on this pump is a 46. So when you turn it on, it is in massage mode. I'm gonna switch to expression mode and I'm gonna turn it back off. So one of the other things that I like about the multi fluma is whatever you leave off in is generally. I hope this pump doesn't make me out to be a liar because I have noticed that it's not consistent. But generally, it's the same mode is going to be on when you turn it back on. So when I turned it off, we were in expression. And I turn it on and we're still in expression. So I'm going to put it on massage mode. And when I turn it off, um, we were on massage mode when I turned it off. So hopefully we will be on massage mode when I turn it back on again I don't know if it's something that I'm doing, but I have found it to be inconsistent But it's still on massage mode when I turned it back on I really like that because I can kind of set it to an adjustable speed and leave it where I want It's not gonna have as much of a shock feature when I start using it um, and we'll talk about some of the things I don't like about the Spectra, but one of the things I love about the multi Luna is whatever you leave it off on, whatever you turn it off on, that's what is generally going to be on when you turn it back on. So we'll talk about the differences. So the massage mode is generally what you want to start off on to induce your letdown. It has a max cycle speed of 60, and that is not adjustable. You cannot turn it down. You cannot turn it up. It is a max cycle of 60. It does have a vacuum level that's adjustable, so you can turn it down all the way to one, or you can turn it up all the way to five. I like for mine to be at three. That's what's comfortable for me. Um, you'll kind of play with it and see what is comfortable for you. Mine is at three, so I like to leave it there. And this is massage mode again. This is what you'll be on to induce your letdown. I generally stay on this for about two to three minutes and then I switch to expression mode. And they have the little teardrop or milk drop for expression mode. And this is what you wanna have the bulk of your pump session on. You can switch back and forth between the two if you need to have a second or sometimes even third letdown. Once your milk stops and you wanna try to get some more, you can switch back to massage to induce another letdown. But for the um, most part, you're gonna be on expression mode when you're pumping. This cycle speed is adjustable. The max is 46, so you can't go beyond that, but you can go all the way down to 30. This is the lowest cycle speed. Cycle speed is essentially how fast your baby is suckling from your breast. A breast pump is meant to mimic your baby sucking from your breast, so the cycle speed is how fast they are sucking. The vacuum level is how strongly they are um, sucking from your breast. And again, the max cycle, um, the max level for massage mode was five. However, when you're on expression mode, you can go all the way up to 12. 12 is the max vacuum level for the Motif Luna. And um, you can go all the way down to one. Again, I typically keep mine at a five vacuum level and a 46 
cycle speed because that's what's comfortable for me. Once you figure out what's comfortable for you, you can kind of um, set it there. And again, one of the things I really love is whatever you leave it off on is what it's gonna be on when you turn it back on. So that is just awesome to me. Um, we'll get back into this once I talk about the Spectra, but this is something that is awesome. I really like this, that the Spectra does not offer. Um, this Multi Luna also has an LED night light and it is in three settings. So this is low, medium, and high. You probably can't tell the difference between medium and high because we're not in the dark. But that is something that is a good feature. It's a night light. I use my Spectra as a night light. So um, this is something that's a benefit. It kind of has like a little cubby in there so the light isn't as bright. Um, and then you can kind of use this to carry the pump. Um, that's, a, that's a cool feature. It's not something super, super um, noteworthy for me, but it's a nice feature. Um, I do like that the Motif Luna offers a kind of an aqua color. It's more gender neutral to me. It's like an aqua greenish color, and green is my favorite color, so I really like that. Um, and the multi luna has quite affordable accessories so again you get one set of 160 milliliter bottles and you get two flange sizes but one complete um duck bill valve and backflow protector set so if you end up needing backups a backup set of bottles which is definitely highly recommended because you you don't want to be washed i well i don't like to wash my pump parts 50 times a day um so i typically get one to two backup sets so that i can use them and i don't have to panic when my pieces are not clean these are affordable on amazon a motif medical offers the backup set for 35.99 for the whole set which i think is an awesome price um so yeah that's the main thing about the motif luna let's skip on over to the spectra s1 so i have used this pump for since january um i'm a little more familiar with this pump i've played with it a little more than i have the motif luna spectra is a really good brand it's a really good pump i love it one of my best friends recommended this she had this with her daughter and she loved it um with my insurance i had to pay 50 dollars. this was an upgrade option you would have to check with your insurance to see what um, type of options they have for the Spectra S1. Again, this is the S1, the portable version. They do have an S2, which is not portable. Um, that's the only difference between the two pumps that Spectra offers. This is the S1. So when you turn it on, you'll see first that this LCD screen is not lit. I didn't know that I didn't like this until I got the Motif Luna. Um, typically what I do is I just turn the light on. It has a handle. It has a handle and the light is built into the handle. And this has two settings. This is low and this is high. And that's generally what I just, what I use to see what I'm pumping. Um, when you turn this one on, it's automatically in expression mode. So I'm going to go into massage mode and you do this by pressing this little bacon button which is the same button on the multi fluna and i'm going to turn it off i'm in massage mode and i'm going to turn it off when i turn it back on i'm going to be back in expression mode and that's i didn't know i didn't like this until i got the multi fluna so when you turn the spectra on it's a little annoying to have to press the little bacon button to go into massage mode which is again where you want to start when you're pumping um so that's a, a little something that the motif has on spectra as far as cycle speed for massage spectra has a max cycle of 70. again you cannot turn this up you cannot turn this down um, and it has vacuum levels that go all the way up to five which is the same for the multi -fluna. So the only difference there's a 10 cycle speed difference between the spectra and the multi -fluna on massage when you go to expression, multi I mean, yeah, multi Luna has a max of 46 cycle speed, whereas Spectra has a max of 54. And Spectra has a minimum of 38 cycle speed for expression mode, whereas multi Luna has a minimum of 30. I like for mine to be at 54. And similar to the multi Luna, the max vacuum level is 12. 
that's a little bit too strong for me so i like to keep mine at a five um i usually start off at a five and i have gone all the way up to an eight um beyond an eight is kind of painful for me i have had mastitis so that is something that i i definitely don't you you, you don't want your site your vacuum speed to be too high it will cause problems um, but again, you have the option to go all the way up to 12 and all your cycle speed from 54 from 38 to 54. The other difference between the two pumps is that the Spectra has a little cup at the back where you can put a bottle um, if you like. I usually use coconut oil or olive oil to lubricate my breasts and before I put them in the flange. So I usually have my little tube of coconut oil that I put right there. Um, Otherwise, I, I usually don't use that. Um, it's rare that I'm using this pump in the single pump mode. So if I am, I will put the bottle there, but it's rare that I use that. So it's something that Spectra offers. I'm not exactly sure what their thought process was when they included that, but you know that's something that's different on the two. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Spectra is a little more expensive. To get backup pieces for the Spectra, you get um, a, a, an, an extra bottle. You can choose between the 24 and 28 millimeter flanges, and you'll get the flange, the three-piece backflow protector, the silicone duct um, bill valve, and the bottle. Um, you'll also get the bottle cap that includes a nipple, a disc, and a lid, and you get one this is what you get for $30. So to get a full set with Spectra, you have to spend $60. And I think that's a little pricey for some backup pieces. So that's one of the things that Motif Luna has over Spectra. Spectra, you have to buy two sets and essentially you're gonna pay $60. Whereas with Motif Luna, you spend $35.99 and you get a full set, meaning the two bottles and the bottle caps, nipples, disc and lid, you get the full set with the flanges, everything for $35.99. I really like that about Motif Luna. Um, not that many people are gonna get both pumps, but just to let you know, these pieces are interchangeable. So again, with the Motif Luna, this replacement set is more affordable. It's $35.99 on Amazon for the full set. So if you did get the Spectra S1, you can just buy the Motif Luna replacement set and use it with your Spectra to save $25. Um, they're, 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 all of their pieces seem to be interchangeable, at least the pieces that I have. So that includes the bottle caps, the bottles, the backflow protectors, the flanges, everything, the tubing, everything has been interchangeable. The chargers, I actually have my Spectra S1 pump charger um, plugged up to my Motif Luna. This is my Spectra car charger that I have not used. I bought this thinking that I was going to be doing a lot of traveling, but we are in the middle of a pandemic. Thank you, coronavirus, it's getting real. So I have not used this, but I can use this car charger with my Motif Luna pump. So I really like that for me, since I have both pumps and I have the different sets that I can use these pieces interchangeably. One last thing about pieces that is not related to Spectra or Motif in terms of vendor this is a bottle that i got from nini supply i typically produce between 14 and 22 ounces in the mornings um so these little six ounce bottles well not even six ounces these five and a quarter bottles were not enough for me so i had to get a larger bottles the largest bottle i could find was nine ounces and I got this from Amazon. It's offered by Nini Supply. And again, these pieces are interchangeable with Motif and Spectra. I have attached to the Nini bottle currently a Spectra 28 millimeter flange. Um, and like I said, they are interchangeable. So that is something that I wanted to throw in there just in case you were interested in a larger bottle size. Um, in terms of my personal experience between the two, I feel that I'm able to collect more milk total with the Motif Luna than I am with the Spectra, but I feel that the Motif Luna, the milk just never stops flowing. After 30 minutes, I'm still actively flowing milk and you're supposed to pump for between two and five minutes after your milk stops flowing. And I feel like with the Motif Luna, 
I, I just have never gotten to a point where my milk has stopped flowing. Again, I've only been using it for three days, so I don't know if that's just an adjustment. My body adjusting to the pump, I really don't know, but it's quite annoying that I'm still having to pump after 30, 45 minutes. And although I'm getting milk, I don't like that it seems that my, my, my pumping sessions will never end. The Spectra, I get a good amount of milk, again, between 14 and 22 ounces in my for my morning sessions i usually have two morning sessions where i get that much for the rest of the day i usually get between six and ten ounces each session but the spectra one thing i like is i'm pumping for 30 minutes and then i'm done like there's no more milk coming out so it's it's quick it's easy and i'm done um i haven't had that experience with the multi fluent yet the other difference between the two is like i said in terms of cost efficiency i think multi luna is definitely a winner it was free with my insurance you're gonna have to call your insurance to find out what you're gonna what you're what you will be eligible for but with my insurance the multi luna was free whereas i had to pay an upgrade fee for the spectra it was worth it but in terms of cost efficiency multi luna won on the insurance part and as well as the replacement accessories or backup accessories multi luna is just cheaper i'm not sure if that's because they're new or or what but it's cheaper and if you do purchase these pumps out of pocket multi luna is 189.99 on amazon where spectra is 199.99 on amazon so that's ten dollars but you know ten dollars can go a long way and you know, ten. I can use that ten dollars for something else, like buying a car charger, because this was, I think, nine ninety nine for this car charger. I did not look to see whether or not Multifluna offered a car charger because I knew that I could just use this one. So I cannot say um, the price difference between the car chargers if Motif Medical offers one. Um, but yeah, it depends on what you're looking for in a pump. I am an overproducer, so. The, the amount of milk I have is a lot, regardless of which pump I'm using. Um, but if you're looking for something that's going to give you more milk so far, I think Motif is winning simply because, it's like I said, it seems that my milk is never stopping. I could probably get more than 14 to 22 ounces in the morning with this if I were to just sit there for an hour or more. I just, I mean, it's hard to do that when you have to change diapers and your baby's crying and I just don't see how people have time to sit for a whole hour attached to the wall pumping. So, eh, I don't really know how, I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. But I will say that I think that I get a lot of milk with this, which is rare um, with pumps. Sometimes people, for me anyway, what I was looking for in a pump was something that was had a good quality suction that could give me milk and that would fully empty my well as empty my breast as much as possible you never are going to fully empty your breast but that's what i was looking for in a pump and i think both of these offer that i get a lot of milk my breasts generally feel quite empty after i finish with the spectra i no longer feel engorged motif luna i kind of still feel full um but it possibly could be because i'm just stopping pumping like i'm just not sitting there long enough to empty my breast with motif it just it takes so long um one of the things that they advertise though is that you get more milk in less time that is that has technically been true in my experience i do get more milk than i get with spectra in the same amount of time and i would possibly get more milk overall with motif luna than i would in spectra if i were to pump both for an hour I think that I would get more milk with the Motif Luna. I haven't tried it yet because, like I said, I just don't. I, can, I don't have an hour to sit there and pump. Um, but their claim is somewhat true that you get more milk in less time. Um, that's something that I have noticed on all of their pro, their um, advertising is that they say you get more milk in less time than other pump brands, which is, it has been somewhat true. Spectra, you still get a lot of milk. I'm an overproducer. I have over 1,500 ounces in my freezer um, currently because I'm such an overproducer. But ladies, do not, do not mistake that. It is a blessing because I have enough to feed my child but it is also a curse i have to pump multiple times a day i have had mastitis i have been engorged i have had plug ducts it's not fun um 
So I notice a lot of, especially in the Facebook groups that I'm in, when the ladies are talking about different breast pumps and how, what, what women have done to increase their supply. One of the things they're like, oh, you're so lucky. People don't tell you that, yeah, you, you know, you have enough to feed your child, but there's a lot of pain and, and fear that comes with overproducing. And, you know, I'm going to make a video to talk to you about that. Overall, Motif Luna is going to win my vote. Ladies, please don't disregard the Spectra. It's a great pump. I really like it. But there are things that I like about the Motif Luna so much more that the Spectra doesn't offer. But I didn't know that I liked this stuff until I got it. I wasn't, it's like you, you don't know what you're missing until it's gone. And so going back to the Spectra after using the Motif and, ha and seeing that my LED screen doesn't light up, seeing that when I turn this on, it goes straight into expression mode, which is like a, a suck, a, a strong suck of your breast when you turn it on, it, it, it kind of hurts. So I didn't know that I was missing that. I didn't know that, well, I didn't. I was a little taken aback by spending $60 for some bottles, but... I didn't know that there were cheap. That was a cheaper option. So, multi Luna, multi Luna is gonna win overall on the comparison of the two. But I still don't regret using the Spectra. I still use it. I still love it. Probably gonna use this in a minute to go ahead and pump just because it's late. It's like one o'clock in the morning right now, and I'm about to pump, go feed my baby, get in the bed, and go to sleep. Ladies, let me know if you have any questions. I'm gonna add the Amazon links. For consistency below this if you have liked this video please like and subscribe and i will be producing more mommy and berry berry and baby videos